Hello everybody, welcome back to Crate and Art. Today we're going to make a giant flower baby. So, let me show you what you're going to need so we can get started. You are going to need a caulk gun and you're going to need some caulk. And this is liquid nails, so it needs to be an adhesive caulk. I have a small little dowel rod that I got at the Dollar Tree. You're going to need a pair of scissors and a X-Acto knife. You're also going to need another pair of scissors maybe and a bigger X-Acto knife. You're going to need some duct tape. You're going to need a glue gun. I got some paint brushes, some black paint. I have some white paint. I have some different colored brown paints. I'm not sure what color I'm going to use. You're going to need some of these flowers that I got. Well, actually these are leaves and I got these at Hobby Lobby. We're probably only going to use like two or three of these, but they're big, large leaves. I also have this little doll and I think she's called like a lopsy doll or something, but this is what we're going to use. She's big. She's got a big head there. And I have some more paint here. I've got some green color paint. I have some Q-tips. You're going to need a little bit of water. And I bought this giant flower at Hobby Lobby. So this is what we're going to use. And I also have one of these aluminum poles that I use when I make my glass flowers. And it's basically a baluster for your deck railing. And I already had one made and spray painted green already. So this is what I'm gonna use for mine. So really it's just gonna depend on where you wanna put yours. I'm gonna put mine outside on my front porch and it has an overhang. So let me get situated and we'll get started. So now that I've got everything situated, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your flower and your doll kind of go together. So your doll head is not bigger than your flower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this doll and I'm going to get her head off here. I think I can't pull this out, so I'm going to save her body. So I'm going to just cut this off. So now that I've got the doll the way I like it, um, this one was a little thick, so it took a little while to get through this, but not all dolls are made this thick. So keep that in mind. It did take me a while. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to paint her. And I wanna make this flower look like a sunflower. And on the center of sunflowers, they are dark. So I'm gonna paint her brown and I might do a couple different shades of brown and then I'm going to put the little circles on her to um, make her look like uh, seeds to a sunflower. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go ahead and paint her next. I've got a couple different browns here and I'm not sure what brown I'm gonna use, but I think I'm going to do um, more of a medium brown um, so the dots will show up. So I'm thinking I'm going to do like this chocolatey brown. 
And when I do this, I might use some Q-tips and wash back off her cheeks and her eyes. Now I'm on to the third coat. Now, if it wasn't raining outside, I'd probably take this outside and spray paint it. Okay, now that I've put three coats on her, I poured out some darker brown, and this one's called Melted Chocolate, but I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna add a little bit of black to this. And I have one of these dowel rods that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, and it has a nice round end on there. And I'm just gonna dip that in my paint, and then I'm gonna dip it, or put it on her into um, little spots, like little seeds. Okay, so while that is drying, I'm going to outline her eyes with some white here. And her eyes kind of look like a button, so I'm going to try to do the same thing on this. I think I'm going to make the inside of her eyes green. And now I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to clean up this mess. Now that I have her and she is all nice and dry, we're going to glue her to the center of the flower. So you want to make sure that your leaves are all out of the way and pushed to the sides. I'm going to hold this in my lap so I have some support because the back of this I have bent. So when you stick it outside or wherever you're going to stick it, it faces like this. And so straight, you don't want it straight up in the air. All right. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put a little of this liquid nails caulk, adhesive caulk, all around the outside of this. Be careful. You don't want to put too much. If you put too much, wipe some off. And then we're going to put a little hot glue all on this so it will give immediate glue or adhesion until the caulk dries. Take a couple leaves off this bundle that I had picked up from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to pick out two leaves and attach them to this pole. And you just want to take both of these and you want to take these on each side of this.
I found my floral tape and I went ahead and wrapped the cover up the black tape because I think maybe the paint will stick better to this color or this kind of material versus uh, the duct tape. Okay, so I have this all wrapped up and you don't have to do this. You could just do the spray paint or paint it instead. Um, but that's what I did. And so when your flowers all finished, it's just going to slide right down inside of this. So when that's dry, I'll show you and we'll be back. Okay, there we go. That's what we made. Isn't it cute? Okay, so this is the pole and your flower and your flower will stem will stick right down inside this and then I have mine in a planter out front and I took a piece of PVC and put it down into my dirt. I taped the bottom of it first and then it makes a nice little um, hole there so I can just stick this pole right down in it. Um, I made that in my video when I did my egg topiary. So you might want to check that out. Also, if you didn't want to stick this into a planter and you just wanted to put it in your yard, you could take a piece of rebar, pound that into the ground, and then this pole will slide over top of it. I did that in another video for my glass flowers. Now, if you do that method, you're going to need to trim this stem down so then when you put this over your rebar, it has room. So I'm going to go outside, take some pictures, Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.